State Fire Marshal's Office and Bay County Sheriff's investigators said they've arrested the person responsible for a fire that destroyed six buildings overnight. 23-year-old Carter Adair is now charged with arson and felony criminal mischief. The fire happened at the upscale River Camps development around 2.30 this morning. As News 13's Alex Schley tells us, firefighters say the flames destroyed six buildings. When firefighters arrived at River Camp Tuesday morning, they found half a dozen buildings going up in flames. We have six buildings that have damage. Uh, there's two two-story buildings behind me that have uh, pretty heavy damage that we're still working on extinguishing right now. All the smaller buildings, pool houses, sheds, things like that have already been extinguished. The six buildings were called amenity facilities. Extinguishing the larger buildings proved to be more difficult. The metal roofing on the two-story structures, uh, it's not allowing us to get as much penetration in with water. So the crews are having a little bit harder time. Uh, we don't want to put crews in inside. Uh, there's so much sagging of the roof and collapse potential. So we don't want to injure our crews for, for a building that's already destroyed internally. The fire marshal's preliminary investigation determined the fire is suspicious. We are leaning towards it maybe being a, uh, maybe being a suspicious in nature fire. Um, there was some illegal activity that may have happened in the last week or so. We're hearing from the residents and from the sheriff's office. The Bay County Sheriff's Office referred us back to the fire marshal's office, which also called the fire suspicious. They also say arson has not been ruled out. So we're just going to investigate it fully, obviously not make a determination until the fire marshal does his job, but we want to make sure we're thorough and find out what happened. Fortunately, there were not any injuries. In Bay County, Alex Lai, News 13, Panhandle Strong. We have a crew at the Bay County Sheriff's Office right now, and we'll have more on Adair's arrest tonight on News 13 at 10.